Hi guys, it's Maria from His Own, and I wanted to hop on here for just a few minutes and share a couple thoughts about an article that Christine and Kara and I um, recently read and have been discussing. And the article is on Candace Bushnell, who wrote the novel that Sex on the City is um, Sex in the City is based on, and she where she shares about you know she wishes that she would have had kids now that she had made some other choices for her life. And Kara's going to talk a little bit more about that, about, you know, having children and, um, and just the mentality that was, that Candace had on that. But something that really stood out to me in this article, and there was a couple things, and I started digging a little deeper and reading some other articles, um, where she'd given some interviews and something she said, I'm going to read this to y'all. Um, she said, um, there was the fall, the fallout of my divorce. I moved, my father died, my best friend took her life. There were times when I wondered what I was doing and why, when I questioned what was the point of it all, when I questioned what was the point of me. That broke my heart because you guys, no wonder she's questioning that. You guys, we were, we were made, we were made from love, for love and to love. And whenever we live our lives in a reckless abandon of selfishness, of lust, of, um, of just gratification for me, 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 anytime we do that, we are not, we're not living out of what we were made for. We are not living in a way to have joy in our lives. We're not living in a way that we were created. And, I, and, and for her, it made me so sad because so many people, and even our culture in this day and age, is always, you know, in a lot of ways, there's this pull to live a life just for ourselves. Everything is about us, you know, and and when we do that, we're not going to have joy. We're, we're going to come up disappointed and going, wait a second, what was the point of all of all that? We were made to pour ourselves out in love, to pour ourselves out in service, and also to receive love, first from God and then from others. But every time, I think it's very easy to get caught up in in, in a mindset of, um, you know, what 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 can it all do for me? So, you know, and, and get caught up in a lifestyle of lust, of sex, addictions, um, you know, alcohol, drugs, whatever, thinking when I have this next relationship, I'll be happy, or when I have kids, I'll be happy, or if I move to this place, I'll be happy. I'm always looking for something to satisfy, something in our hearts that can only be satisfied by God, only by having a deeper, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. If we are not living a life for Him, we are ultimately gonna come up empty. We were made for that. You know, we were made for for a life in Jesus. We were made to have a deep relationship with Him, and and ultimately to be happy with Him in heaven. But it really, um, I think, it really stood out to me how important it is that that first of all that we recognize, you know, whenever we live a life of selfishness and just kind of grab onto the next thing and. And again, whether it is lust or whether it's addictions on this or that, or you know, there's so many different elements of that. But whenever we do that, we're gonna come up disappointed and we're gonna come up questioning, well, wow, did I just live my life like that? Because we can't take that stuff with us, you guys. You know, it's so important that we live lives of love, you know, that we're receiving love from God and from others and that we're pouring ourselves out in love. Uh, and, you know, happiness can be very fleeting, right? I eat a good, uh, I don't know, something delicious, maybe a bowl of ice cream with a hot chocolate chip cookie or <laughs> whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. That was great. And then it's over. But joy is something that goes deeper than that. Joy wells out of our hearts, when, particularly when we give ourselves in love and service and, and receive that from others. That is something that we get from Christ. It's something that we get from really living the way that we were made to live. So those are a couple of my thoughts. I would love to hear, you know, if any of you guys have maybe read anything in regards to Sex and the City or seen anything with it. I know it's a pretty raunchy thing from um, from what I've seen and heard. and um, But there's been a lot of talk about it, obviously. And some people I hear, I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, I can totally relate to this and this. Um, in this day and age, in this culture, obviously, you know, there's a lot of that 
mindset going on. So I would just love to hear what you guys are, what your guys' thoughts are. Um, again, I'm not recommending that you go out and watch Sex and the City or read the book or any of that. <laughs> but if you have heard about it, or if you've seen it, or you have friends who, or you've know, or you've seen even yourself in that lifestyle, um, what it's what it's done for you and uh, how you come out of it. I would love to hear that. We'd love to hear your feedback. So come find us on social media, be his own, um, our website, be his Twitter, be his own music. You guys have a great week. Bye.